Will Clash Quest go global or will it be killed? Let's talk about it. All right, so Clash Quest, Supercell's newest game. It is currently in beta development. It has been soft launched in a couple countries in Europe, Finland, Norway, places like that. If you guys want to check out how to download this game in your country on any device um, in any country, check out this video here. I'm going to try to remember to link it, but uh, if not, just click back and uh, yeah, yeah, you basically just have to change your app store settings. Um, to your location into Finland. So just do that if you haven't done already, if you want to download the game. But what we're talking about today, guys, is will Clash Quest go global or will it be killed? And let's just talk about this. So I've covered a bunch of Supercell games from early development stages to, you know, late stage finish games. So I kind of know the process pretty well by now. And everyone does because we, uh, we just went through this with the launch of Brawl Stars uh, releasing in 2018. So it's not surprising uh, to see Supercell release this game so early in, in, in its development. Uh, it's done this for past games as well, such as Brawl Stars and Rush Wars. The company's goal behind this is to gather the community's reaction and player feedback as it moves forward with its development. Supercell also said that it could kill the game if it doesn't meet the company's high standards. In the past, it has ended development for games like Heyday Pop and Rush Wars for not meeting these standards, even though those were, you know, uh, technically speaking, good games. So... I think Clash Quest has a lot bigger potential than all of those other games that we were just talking about um, because it's already using the Clash IP. IP just means the troops, characters, land, you know, stuff that Supercell owns from games like Clash Clans and Clash Royale. We're seeing basically all of those troops being brought over into these three new games that are announced, uh, the other two being Clash Heroes and Clash Mini. Um, which are not available to play just yet, but uh, as soon as they will be, make sure to subscribe, and we'll show you some early gameplay of that too if we are able to. So, that being said, I think that this game has more potential than those other games simply because it's art. It's got the Clash Clans IP. It's got that. Um, you know, it's already bringing in that audience with it from those other games, which are huge mobile games. Um, if you guys, you know, are watching this, I'm sure that you played. Or are currently playing, um, you know, Clash Royale, Brawl Stars, or Clash of Clans right now. Um, obviously, Brawl Stars isn't in this game, but you know what I mean. So, I think for that reason alone, it can just kind of sit on its own IP. And even if the game is, you know, not perfect, which it's not just yet. There, there are some issues with the game. Um, but of, of course, it's not finished. It looks very good. It looks very, it looks very polished. Um, it looks like a game that's ready to be released globally, but it's actually far from it. There's a lot of kinks that they want to work out. And they release these games in the early stages, like we said, because um, they, they simply want to test it. They, they want to know what people think about it before they release it. They, they want to know what works, what doesn't work, um, and things like that. They're very, you know, they're, they're very stringent about, um, about their games at Supercell. You know, they, they make the best games for a reason. And that's, um, you know, that, that's, that's because they hold all their games to a very high standard. So even if there's nothing, you know, really uh, wrong with the game, if for whatever reason, like what we saw with Rush Wars recently, uh, if for whatever reason they don't uh, believe that it meets their, their company stands, then the game will get killed. And what I'm thinking is they're releasing these three games. I only have a prince left. Um, they're releasing these three games in hopes that one of them sticks. I can't imagine all three of these games go global. That's just my opinion. Um, I don't have any insider info or any, anything on, on any of this stuff. I'm just talking about it uh, just like you guys are. So, yeah. <clears throat> in, in my opinion, I, I think they're going to just kind of see which uh, which one of these sticks and, you know, just kind of go, go at it from there um, and, and, and just push forward the... Uh, the, the one that, that uh, people really stick to. So I think Clash Quest is going to be... Um, I think it's going to be a really big game. I, I think it has a ton of potential. Um, number one, like I said, it's got the Clash of Two, this kind of style of game where it's like... Um, you know, kind of like a puzzle um, arena quest RPG kind of thing. Not RPG, but you know what I mean. Um, these are very popular games, so it's very easy for someone to just kind of pick up and play, um, like a card style, um, a turn-based, uh, strategy game. Like, it's very easy to just pick up and play. It's not like Brawl Stars where the controls were, um, you know, they were a struggle for some people to get used to. I remember, um, I remember when Brawl Stars first came out, that's all that anybody ever talked about was the controls and, uh, if the game was going to be played vertically or sideways, which obviously now it's sideways, 
Um, but yeah, that that was, uh, you know, it, it was, it, it, Brawl Stars had like a steep learning curve to it. It, it was uh, new characters, new world, new style of game. Um, you know, there's other games like that, of course, but um, it, uh, it was definitely a learning process for, you know, the Supercell kind of fan base. Um, going from a game like Clash of Clans to Brawl Stars, where it's totally different, you know, um, Battle Royale kind of, um, you know, kind of setting. So, <clears throat> to go from Clash of Clans to Clash Royale to this, it's very pick up and play. It's very familiar. I think it's going to be very easy to bring some of those giant audiences um, of people that love those games and bring them over and, and uh, play this. And this game, you know... Like I said, obviously it's not in uh, its final version just yet, but at the moment it's very easy to just pick up and play, do a couple battles, you know, feel like you're making progress, get in, get out. Um, typically all the mobile games will be uh, something like that. Uh, it's a game that you can play, you know, a, a, a battle or a fight within, you know, two to five minutes, somewhere in that range is typically the sweet spot that we see. I'm going to die here again. I need more troops or something. But yeah, you know, there are a couple issues with... Uh, with Clash Quest right now, we're not going to talk about those in, in too much detail in this video, but it's something we'll touch on in the future for sure. So, yeah, I want to know what you guys think. What Do you guys think the game is going to go global, or do you think it's going to get killed? I'm leaning towards it's going to go global, but I think it depends on the success of the other two games that they're launching with it. I don't think they're going to launch all three of them, especially at the same time. Um, I think it's going to take... I think it's. I think we're. I think Clash Quest is going to be in development for a long time too. I don't think it's. It's quite near ready, um, just yet. Like we said, it's still very early on in the beta, um, and everything like that. But I gotta find a way to upgrade my cards or something here. Uh, Archer, we're not ready to do just yet. We got swap. I haven't been using swap. Maybe that's my problem. So let's. Uh, I want to save my gold. I don't have any gems that I can get. And I don't have a way to purchase these because this is all, um, they're not euros. Sorry, I said the, I said the, the name of the currency wrong. It's, uh, <laughs> I forget it now, but you guys will let me know. It's currency that, I live in Canada, so it's not my currency. That's all I'll say. Uh, so I don't get roasted too badly. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that's the social. We still don't have league unlocked just yet. So we're very, very early on here. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying the game. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> I'd love a way to buy gems or something like that. But uh, I think it's got a ton of potential. Oh, we can actually scroll up here and see the entire field. That's cool. Um, all right, let's go with the barbs first. But yeah, let me know. Let me know. Do you guys think it'll go global? Do you think it'll get killed? I'm interested to hear uh, your guys' thoughts. You know, obviously I'm, uh, you know, like I, I've, uh, like I play all the Supercell games. I'm kind of biased in that, uh, I, I'm a huge fan of them already, so I'm interested to, to hear some of you guys that maybe only play Brawl Stars or maybe only play Boom Beach. Um, is this something that you guys would be interested in? Um, I think for the most part, everybody that has played it so far has been enjoying it, and uh, I've seen nothing but good stuff on it. But uh, there are some uh, issues with it that we're going to talk about in a later video. So make sure to stay subscribed and stay tuned for that one. Uh, let's go here, guys. What do we got? Let's do a swap. Let's bring this prince back here. Oops. That did not swap properly. <laughs> That's kind of screwed up my turn, too. Uh, we'll try to make up for it now. I wanted to use the barbarians. That was going to be our money shot. Let's go archers. And I'll go archers back here. Now, if we get lucky with this layout, we might be okay. Uh, almost. One, two, three. All the princes hit something. Well, I'm going to go with the barb first. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Boom. Not bad. We cleared two out of three stages. I'll take it. So, obviously, we got some work uh, left here to do. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of my, my initial thoughts. I do think the game has the potential to go global. We're a ways out from it right now. But I don't see any reason uh, early on why it wouldn't. I, I think it's got, um, I, I th like I said, I think it's got endless potential. I think this game could, could be huge. Um, we'll obviously have to wait and see how that plays out, how the updates come, um, and different things like that. And we, we haven't heard any updates from the developers or anything like that. We're still very very early on um 
if you guys are watching this video later, the, the game just came into a uh, soft launch like less than a couple weeks ago. So there's uh, we're, we're still a ways out from global. I would bet at least a year, maybe two years. Um, hopefully it's not that long. I felt like the Brawl Stars like kind of beta uh, length was way too long. And then there was like all this hype for the game and then it kind of, you know, it ended up, you know, being the most like successful game ever. So uh, you can't really say it was a bad thing or anything like that. It obviously worked out for them, but just, you know. I, I kind of got sick of waiting around, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. You guys let me know down below in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more Clash Quest. We're going to be posting it uh, on this channel. So make sure to subscribe, leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.